All right, so here we go. Guys, it's a little bit of a rant video. I wanna just, I wanna ask eBay to please stop already with the nonsense. eBay, there's so many other things that you could be working on and that you could be fixing on this stinking platform, but yet, no, you guys have got to go mess with the things that hinder the sellers from listing. Guys, I woke up this morning in a great mood. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start listing. Yesterday, I had a great day. I cross-listed 40 items. That's 40 on eBay and 40 at the same time on Poshmark. As you can see right there, create a listing. I keep both of my tabs open. I got great results going um, from one from one platform straight into the other while I'm listing. I do them two at a two at a time, or two at the same time rather. So here, here's my complaint, and I just want to air it out to eBay. They they're eBay. Oh my god! I'm so mad. I can't list as fast as I normally do when eBay comes in and decides that they're going to make the category changes down here on certain items. The biggest one that they've, that I've noticed so far is athletic wear. They've come in and revamped the way they've categorized athletic clothing. It used to be just athletic wear or athletic like shorts, pants. Now they've called it athletic wear and have changed the whole category. But that's not it. This is a, this is a listing for a pair of um, Amethyst uh, jeans, Junior's jeans. Down here at the bottom after the photos are loaded, they've got everything moved around now. And this modified item thing, what is this? What is that, man? You've got the brand over here, when the brand used to be up here, the color used to be down here, the inseam used to be over here, the material used to be on this side, the size used to be on this side, and it's all backwards. And now they have the accents now, and <laughs> you go further down, and the style that used to be way up here, like, like second under the brand or over here somewhere, now it's way down here at the bottom, and guess what? It's got a red asterisk beside it, and you have to put something in it. They used to have selections that you could, like a drop-down menu, where you could select stuff over there, but now it's gone. So now they, they've got all these treatments that you can put in instead of, like, the wash. It used to be wash, but now they call it treatments. And silhouette. They've put everything over into a silhouette. What is that? Why, why, why do all these changes and why just mess it up? Everything down below here is fine, but I wanted to kind of, I'm, I'm upset because I made templates. Okay. And when I went back to list under one of my templates, I noticed that it said that the availability to list under that category um, is no longer available and it has changed. So I had to go in and redo my templates to fit all this garbage that they've done and everything that they've changed. So everybody's human. Everybody has days where they feel like they're, they're just on top of the world and everybody has days where they feel like they, they wanted to get going and they had good momentum and then all of a sudden, uh, you know, they had a flat tire on the side of the road and then everything else just went downhill from there. This is one of those days. And, and I'm just, man, I'm just so upset because when I go over to list on Poshmark, it's so ridiculously simple. I mean, stupid simple to put to list. It takes me a fraction of the time to list on Poshmark as it does on eBay. And I think that that's where eBay's biggest mistake is going to be made. The fact that they have not streamlined certain things. I mean, they're going in and making changes like this that causes the sellers to have to relearn the roadmap in which they've already memorized. They're going to have to go in and relearn everything that they were doing and then try to build their speed back up again. You just killed the sellers in that area, like me, who, who list bulk items, you know, one-off items. So 
I don't know, man. I think that I think that that Poshmark is gonna just eventually just take over the used clothing part of it, uh, and the new clothing part. I think that they've they've really made a smart move in just being an, in a niche or niche as you would call it market in just clothing and uh, jewelry and things because they're killing. It. I'm killing it on Poshmark. I've only been on Poshmark for. Uh, just over a month, I opened my store. Um, oh, what am I doing? I opened my store in June. I had an account, but um, I had an account, but I'd never used it. And then I finally just decided, you know what, hire a VA and go over and have them list all my stuff over onto it. And just today, I'm going to show you what I sold. Just today, this is crazy. Right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items today. I may have some other offers that I haven't checked yet. Eight items in one day off of Poshmark versus three or four in the summer slowdown um, on eBay. Um, and that's just in one store, of course, but I may have the total of, of maybe 12 in all four stores that we have. Versus eight sales right here. And they're small. Granted, they're small numbers. But, hey, I'm in it to bulk win, man. I'm not in it to try to get $100 here and $100 there. I'm trying to get little nickels and dimes and create $100. Because it's just so simple for me. So, I'm just I'm just loving Poshmark, guys. And, and I wish you guys, if you're not on Poshmark yet, if you haven't started um, selling online. And if you're watching this video because you're interested in it. I would highly recommend that you start with Poshmark before you go to eBay. There's so many changes within eBay right now that, I mean, it, it's just too confusing for a, a newbie. It took me uh, the better part of six months just to get a firm grip on how I was going to um, structure my business. And um, it's, I don't know, it, it's just so much easier. Over here, there's pennies in here. I've already transferred some money out of here. Now I've got... 140 and 150 pending or 140 pending and redeemable is 15160. So I mean you just look back at the redemption history, you can see 46655. My first one was in June yeah, June 11th was the first time that I'd redeemed anything. Um I wish I could go back and see wish I could go back and show you guys some of my other numbers or some of the dates when I started. Let me see here real quick. Let's go to my sales and let's go to Posh Stats. Let's see where Posh Stats are. Oh, okay. Okay, I take it back. It was It was the end of May. It was the end of May when I opened it up and started ever so slightly listing on it. But um, so June, I didn't have very many listings. You can see now how many listings I have. I have 2,238 listings active. Um, I think that's, I think act, I think they're active. I don't know if it includes your solds or not. And I only have 7,725 followers. But a total value over here of the listings that are available is $31,000 and they're all low dollar items. They're not even, they're not even high dollar items there. So guys, anyway, back to eBay and back to the garbage that they're doing. Um, if you haven't, I was going to make this video on, um, let me go ahead and list this item. I was going to make this video and I was going to talk about listing templates. So, just go in here and create a new right here. This is where you would start to list, of course. And um, these are my listing templates down here. I had to go through each and every one of them. And I still haven't even put all of the listing templates that I want in there. So just to give you guys an idea, I sell a lot of um, hoodies, um, T-shirts, and this is the active wear sweat and track pants that I had to revamp along with the athletic shorts. Um, I, sh I sell a lot of board shorts, cargo, casual shorts. 
anything that has to do with golf, surfing, or just outdoor wear. I always I sell all that stuff. Um, casual shirts like Tommy Bahamas. Um, casual shorts, of course. Dress pants, um, polo shirts, jeans for men and women, dress pants, athletic shorts for women, and of course, you know, sweats and hoodies for women, tops and blouses. Those are the main ones that I that I actually felt like I needed to create a template on because I sell so many of them. And it's so much easier just to go in and select, um, select like women's pants, you know, and uh, list a pair of, um, I guess you'd call those scrub bottoms. I hope they didn't go in and, and change that. Well, let's just see real quick. Actually, you know what? That is a scrub bottoms is a whole different category. It's going to be a, it'll be more like a um, uniforms. I'm just interested to see whether or not, whether or not they, whether or not they changed. Scrub bottoms. So let's see real fast what happened down here. Here we go with this modified item garbage again. I don't know what this is. I have no clue what that is. Brand genders over here. Color. This is see now this is better. This is all see how the size is together, the materials together. All those things are together, but the jeans are just ridiculous. So guys, that's the end of my rant. Um, guys, let me know how you feel about this and make your voice be heard to eBay because, they, like I said, they could be net uh, fee netting or working on that and, and like streamlining the process. They could be doing so much more than to be changing things like this that just, just causes a lot of hindrances. So guys, leave me some comments. Um, like the video if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't. Um, thanks for watching. Thrifty Christian. Ow.